Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Although the term orca is increasingly used, English-speaking scientists most often use the traditional name killer whale. The genus name Orcanus comes from the kingdom of the dead or belonging to orcas. Ancient Romans originally used orca, plural orcae, for these animals possibly borrowing from ancient Greek, which referred, among other things, to a whale species. Since the 1960s, orca has steadily grown in popularity. The term orca is preferred by some as it avoids the negative connotations of killer, and because being part of the family Delphinidae, the species is more closely related to other oceanic dolphins than to other whales. Killer whales have the second heaviest brains among marine mammals, after sperm whales, which have the largest brain of any animal. They can be trained in captivity and are often described as intelligent, although defining and measuring intelligence is difficult in a species whose environment and behavioral strategies are very different from those of humans. Killer whales imitate others and seem to deliberately teach skills to their kin. Off the Crozet Islands, mothers push their calves onto the beach, waiting to pull the youngsters back if needed. People who have interacted closely with killer whales offer numerous anecdotes demonstrating the whale's curiosity, playfulness, and ability to solve problems. Alaskan killer whales have not only learned how to steal fish from long lines, but have also overcome a variety of techniques designed to stop them, such as the use of unbaited lines as decoys. Once fishermen placed their boats several miles apart, taking turns retrieving small amounts of their catch in the hope that the whales would not have enough time to move between boats to steal the catch as it was being retrieved. A research described what happened next. It worked really well for a while, then the whales split into two groups. It didn't even take them an hour to figure it out. They were so thrilled when they figured out what was going on that they were playing games. They were breaching by the boats. Craig Matkin. In other anecdotes, researchers describe incidents in which wild killer whales playfully tease humans by repeatedly moving objects the humans are trying to reach, or suddenly start to toss around a chunk of ice after a human throws a snowball. The killer whale's use of dialects and the passing of other learned behaviors from generation to generation has been described as a form of animal culture. The complex and stable vocal and behavioral cultures of symp sympatric groups of killer whales, or Canis orca, appear to have no parallel outside humans and represent an independent evolution of cultural faculties. Two species of populations are considered sympatric when they live in the same geographic area and thus regularly encounter one another. 